hello friends so we will be doing thuja now on and i will be going to do medorinum in future so uh, this was a, a query raised on telegram group so i thought uh, it is a chance for me also to learn and uh, absorb these two remedies in a better way so let's go ahead thuja as you all know it's an antipsychotic remedy it's the best remedy for warts and external application it's uh, used rampantly by medicos non medicos and laymen like everyone knows that warts hua to thuja lagane ka although it doesn't work in many cases like this because it is said that um, internal remedy is needed so we will understand what is the inside of thuja why it doesn't work in all cases of warts so there is something missing you know until and unless that thing matches with the inside of the man it cannot remove the warts so uh, we will understand what is this inside of thuja the first part of thuja the initial the how we do all the remedies we will continue in the same process the same journey like you know the positiveness of thuja the uh, uh, high on energy of thuja we will see what is that okay now there are few rubrics that have segregated which shows a very different aspect of thuja where generally we will not get it in our clinic but to understand the remedy as a whole it is a very beautiful thing you know the uh, rubrics are mentioned in our repertories uh, it does have some meaning so if we know the journey of the remedy and by this we can understand the per person as, at a deeper level so uh, so saying the first uh, rubric is amoris given in uh, thuja amoris bulimia fancies uh, lascivious uh, while lying down fancies exaltation of with sleeplessness greed cupidity passionate sentimental vivacious so what are all these rubrics indicating you know uh, amorous is something which is driven a person that is driven by love or a person who senses a uh, sensual love or sexual love or any kind of uh, uh, vibes where they feel you know that this person is indicating to me something related to love so it is not necessary a very legal uh, kind of um, uh, a married relationship but even a uh, not married relationship but uh, the person feels something for another person that something that attraction is felt by uh, uh, so this is amorous where a person is felt attracted to the other person in some way it it need not go to a higher level or to a greater extent but it's just a feeling it could just remain at that level but somewhere an attraction is there now that attraction towards something need not be a physical attraction it could be something very fascinating something that catches the eye catches the senses and the person thinks about it on and on so it could be anything related to you know uh, we, like we see advertisements and a person falls in love with a uh, product okay it could be see i'm giving you an example based on how we are going to proceed in understanding thuja it is need not to be a um, very uh, sexual kind of a journey in thuja but it could be a very materialistic kind of journey also by something material also a person can feel very much attached or attracted to and takes it to a higher level so bulimia is what when there is uh, the person eats a lot binge eating so he eats a lot and then he feels frustrated that i have eaten so much and then wants to lose weight okay so that is what particularly bulimia is all about so the person is too much behind that thing by which he is fascinated and then after engrossing one's energy after delving into it for a long time and giving up uh, too much of uh, energy and too much of attention into it and then wants to give it up all that i don't want to do it so that is kind of a alternating state in bulimia so thuja gets attracted very deeply passionately 
sentimentality is there sentimentality when others also can feel and others can also see that uh, he is really getting emotional and he is getting weepy about it so uh, uh, this this kind of complex mindset starts developing in thuja if he gets passionate or if he gets passionate is again it's an intense feeling it could be a passionate anger an outburst of anger and we say that he's passionately angry about uh, a passionate um, like how uh, we are in love with our subject okay like passionate in homeopathy passionate in swimming passionate about some sports so it could be related to anybody's uh, career option also that so much delving into it and then you know after reaching a peak and doing overdoing it and then you say i just don't want to do it and then for 10 days there is a break and no doing not listening about it not doing anything about it so this kind of aggression is there this kind of energy this kind of intensity of emotions is there then there is a uh, cares full of when they are in that mode where where they feel fascinated about and where they have fancies exaltation or related to that particular thing so they are like taking proper care for it also so cares full of is in relation to what gives them a high okay then there is haughtiness a sense of pride about it that i like it i love it and i want to do it so uh, we'll see in particular how it goes greed cupidity again indicates that nothing satisfies this person like a little of it like doing uh, suppose uh, he is fascinated by uh, gymming so a little of it will not satisfy one or two or no i just want to do it round the day, round the clock 4 hours 5 hours in the gym so this is greed cupidity that you don't know where to put in put a full stop and you just oh, doing it doing it doing it because i like it and you just want to maintain and then for, uh, suddenly you take a break so gymming is something which needs to be done in a uh, periodic way in a very regular way but thuja uh, this state you know this state does overly goes beyond the limit and does not know where to stop because he is too much fascinated that senses are completely uh, under the influence of this kind of feeling then when the person is so much in love with this subject or topic or anything delusion floating in air so floating in air is used uh, otherwise when a person is in love you know they are floating in air but floating in air actually uh, uh, something that floats in air doesn't have a base suppose you are swimming swimming is something you have a base you are on the water okay or you are in in water so you have a base you have a ground to uh, hold on to but in floating in air there is no baseline you don't know where you are standing but you're just floating in air so they don't understand their limitations they just float in air without thinking that where are they going where are they going to land for how long are they going to float in air and for how long they are going to be in that uh, uh, feeling of feeling ecstatic or feeling uh, that um, passion and that amorousness and uh, so this this is leading to cheerful heat during so when they are floating in air where when they are in this high feeling a high there is cheerful heat during ideas abundant heat during industrious heat during so mirth heat during now cheerful mirth they are actually a very a very good state you know there is nothing uh, 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 bad about it but then why there a rubric rubric means something morbid okay now when they are cheerful in mirth it indicates that others can also see that they are feeling very good about something that they have done so when others are also able to perceive it that they are very happy these days they are very cool these days kya ho gaya suddenly why why uh, what has happened what is making them so happy about things so why they are into morbid is because 
something unusual they are doing which is making them cheerful and mirth heat is means the intensity of doing it is too much heat we use heated discussions when the discussion is too much we say it is a heated discussion when um when we say that uh, there is a lot of uh, like warmth we say now that uh, there is a warmth in our relationship so warmth is a comfortable relationship where the uh, give and take of love is at a very uh, comfortable level but when it is heated up heated up means it's too much so too much is something that thuja goes to that extent of doing anything too much and when he does it to that extent he he is cheerful he is mirth he is industrious he works hard in it okay he gives a lot in that relation he gives a lot in that particular profession or uh, pursuing that uh, whatever he has fallen attracted to ideas abundant he has that i will do this i will do that and you know too much okay now uh, uh, there is mildness also along with haughtiness so here in this state uh, i feel that uh, thuja is more mild in uh, talking to people and interacting and uh, building that kind of relation then uh, there is music things he hears music so people will definitely appreciate if somebody is performing so well so people around appreciate and he feels he thinks that he is hear, hearing music oh so much he is doing here but actually people are thinking that why is he doing so much but he thinks that he is hearing music so he feels that all this is very good whatever he is doing is good and he just goes on and on in it delusion pregnant she is pregnant is again full of ideas the potential to go beyond to do something to show to the world that yes i can do it and you know just indulging yourself too much in it and you feel and the person feels or knows that yes i am capable of doing it and i can do it so that is the pregnant state of thuja delusion all powerful she is that i have the power power is the authority when when that power is it you can influence others you know he will become the gym trainer maybe maybe and uh, he feels that all ever uh, people who ever join the gym i can train them very well or uh, uh, again powerful can be used for any kind of position where he feels that uh, he can influence others or he can train others or he can guide others and he has total control over that thing he knows in and out of it so this is uh, what thuja is in the initial stage now we will see in the later videos how this transition takes place see doing anything is uh, anything good is always good but uh, doing anything beyond brings in pathology now in doing this thuja is hari mental exhaustion during hari movements in hari occupation although he is mild in talking but his physical activity his way of conducting himself in doing those tasks there is a hurriedness there is a hurry he is not at peace or he is not doing everything in a gentle way uh, he is doing it in a fast more than fast is hurry too much too much too much uh, rapidly rapidly no no non rapid so this is he can't formulate that how well he uh, how fast he should do or where he has to put a, a full stop where he needs to take rest where he has to just come back and chill and you know relax and think uh, and pause and then no he will just so that's what the bulimia of thuja is all about that's what the a uh, passion of thuja is seen in this these three rubrics hari movements occupation mental exertion and then anything you do out of proportion you have to collapse so we'll see how thuja collapses okay so uh, do comment your comments are very important to me even uh, negative even positive all of them are very essential do comment like and subscribe thank you so much bye